Hey there, fellow maker. I'm in a weird place. There's a giant bear behind me. Uh, many of you probably already know where this is. I'm doing a wacky project with our friend, Allie Spagnola. Hi. Hey, Allie. Um, thanks for inviting me to come do this project. Heck yeah, thanks well, for saying yes. You, I always say yes. Uh, what are we making today? We are making an automata swimming shark. That's really, really cool. Allie's going to cover the whole project over on her channel. You want to go watch that video. I'm going to do a ton of CAD today, so I thought I'd take you all on that uh, journey with me. So I've got a little workstation set up over there. It's, it's, you have to show them. It's quaint. Uh, and I'm going to be um, doing some of the mechanisms for the automata. And I'll take you through a little bit of that. So uh, Allie's going to be sculpting by hand to start with. Again, go check out her video to see that. And I'll do some CAD. Let's get started. Behold, my workstation. <laughs> so Allie's laughing over there. It'll do. It'll definitely do. Uh, I've got everything I need. I've started sketching some of the uh, mechanical uh, contrivances here, and I think I have a pretty good solution to get the shark motion that we want. This is the kind of motion that we're trying to achieve with this design. This is on uh, Reddit here. I'll post a link to this one here. I really like the way it tilts a little bit, and the actual mechanism for it is this cam-driven uh, contrivance down here. So this is what I'm going to try and recreate in CAD and also make it 3D printable. And what's really cool is these, all three of these do the same thing. So I really only have to design one of them uh, and then print. I think we're going to go with four segments for ours here. First things first, figure out the rough size of the whole base that this is all going to fit in and then design these mechanisms. I have made it to step one. This is going to be the lever arms that swing back and forth. The bottom will be connected to the cam and the top will be connected to the shark. Uh, I can do a little test. I can move this pivot right here to the center and then we can see what the motion looks like. And it'll be longer on the top, so we'll get more motion out of just a little bit of motion on the bottom. So this part I think looks pretty good. Next step will be um, there's a track that it runs on. We'll have to do that and then a thing that keeps it connected to the camshaft that needs to slide up and down. Maybe I'll do that next. Next step is blocked out. This is a slide that will move up and down and keep the arm connected to the camshaft. So this should just go up and down as the whole thing moves back and forth. Uh, this was done just with a pretty simple sketch just to figure out mostly where the camshaft is going to snap in. I made the opening for the camshaft at the top because since we're 3D printing this, I can do it this way without um, without any supports. It makes this whole thing a lot easier. You know what, now that I've got these two parts modeled, I'm going to do a quick print test just to make sure they interact correctly. But also, uh, Ali just got a brand new Prusa Core 1 and I got it set up. But I figure we should give it a test. This is a quick eight minute print. Let's go print it. We can check in on Allie and her sculpting over here. There Does it look go. like a tiger? It doesn't look like a tiger. Oh no. Oh, Let's to, go with shark instead. You'll have to start over. <laughs> Print it. Oh, I need, to, <laughs> I need to load the filament. And a mere eight minutes later, we've got some new parts that we can test out. Here's our part. It came right out of the screen. And this part's meant to slide up and down and we have plenty of clearance there so we're good to go um, there will be an axle through here and then the camshaft through here i think i will design the axle bit first and figure out how it's going to sit inside the base made a bit more progress with the cad over here i have this end cap that's going to socket onto that printed part and hopefully this guide rail will allow it to go back and forth on a set path kind of like this so it should oscillate back and forth. And again, this will move up and down as it has to with the, the cam that'll be over here. Uh, I don't think I need to print these parts yet. I do need to figure out how the um, this rail will fit inside the body, inside this base. Made it a little bit big and then I'm gonna have to shell this, hollow it out, uh, and then figure out how I'm gonna jam that stuff in there. So that'll be the next step before we can do any more test prints. I've got to a point where I need to work on the inside of this, and there's a neat tool I wanted to show Allie uh, called the Section Analysis Tool. 
So under inspect, we have all these different ways you can like observe your thing. And the section analysis lets us basically chop part of it off so you can see inside of it. Cool. Yeah. So I'll pick uh, this plane. What the heck? You've done all of that already? Yes. I have a lump with a fin on it. <laughs> it's going to be such a nice lump, though. <laughs> so after clicking on that, it hides everything beyond this plane. Cool. So if I want to work on the inside of my object, it just hides it, and I can now see both the outside part that I've shelled and then everything on the inside. Cool. Uh, as your thing you're working on gets more and more complicated, this becomes super helpful. And then when you don't need it, you just hide it and everything becomes visible again. Nice. You can do it on multiple axes. You can um, rotate it if you have a specific need. Well. Yeah. It's uh, one of those things where you're like, oh, I, I don't know, maybe I'll use that. But then the moment you need it, it's the it's best tool great. in the world. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So that's the section analysis tool. So useful. I've got the base booked out here, and I made a few copies of these mechanisms. I just copied them over and over again. The distance apart is based on Allie's sculpt, where each part of her creature is going to be connected there. So I did some measurements to see how far apart they ought to be. We could always tweak this later if we have to, but I think we're within the ballpark. All of the features like this axle or these rails, they're going to be attached through the body but next what we need to do is make that cam shaft and that's going to be a little goofy it's not a flat two-dimensional thing each lobe of the cam goes off in a different angle it's going to be kind of weird to print too but we'll figure it out uh, so far it seems like it's coming together really well this is let's call it the the base model here we can zhuzh it up and make it look, look pretty later but i think what we have here looks pretty functional I've started modeling the cam here, and uh, before doing the whole thing and printing it, I printed a little test piece. I wanted to make sure that this cam part would fit snugly into this sliding part here. So you'll see this is the one I printed earlier, and now it pops right into place and it can rotate all around. This gives me a lot of confidence to move forward with the design, and we can test a little bit of the motion here. And it looks to me like it is working as intended, which gives me endless joy. And I cannot believe it worked on the first try. So the next no. thing, I, it never happens like that. So the next thing we need to do is uh, make four copies of this and rotate them off axis a little bit so that all of these will animate at different times. And just like that, I finished the camshaft. I just took this one segment copied it, rotated it, and then combined everything. And that's something we can tweak later on, the angles, so that we can change the timing on the animation for these if we want to. Um, for now, I think I have enough pieces ready that I can print everything and do a full motion test. It's just gonna take a little while to print all these parts. Uh, there's the base. Um, but right now I'm printing a bunch of these extra parts. So I'm going to throw those over on the core one and we'll see how they, how they turn out. I was going to pop in here to remind you that I've got a Fusion 360 training course for sale over on our website, but I remembered that Allie did that in a video a while back, so I'll let her take it. There has been 3D printing on this channel, but that was modeled and printed by my buddy Bill Duran, who is the reason I was able to now create this. I bought his online course on 3D modeling yesterday, and now the print is happening today, so if you want to learn how to do this super quickly, go check out his course at punishedprops.com. <gasps> no way. I can't believe that worked. I feel like I unlocked a superpower. Get ready for more 3D printing on this channel. Progress continues to be made. Ali is diligently sculpting the creature for our automata. And the first test cam is done printing over here. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, I mean, it looks good. It's a goofy shape, so I put a bunch of supports under it, but it looks like it printed all right. Let's pop it out and see if it uh, will do the trick. Of course, I wasn't filming, but I broke it in half getting it off the print bed. I guess that means I should print it with more walls, or I could even print this thing totally solid so it's really strong. That's probably a good choice for this piece. While I'm reprinting the cam, I'm printing the body of this. So hopefully once this is done, I can start sneaking some of those parts in there, or we can test and see if our motion works even a little bit. While we were printing stuff, I also printed the axle and the crank pretty close to putting all this stuff together and testing it out. Take a little break while my prints are going. 
Um, of course, the best place to take a break in Ali's studio is in the fur room. This room is completely, completely covered in fur on the inside. It's quite an experience. Oh, it's so soft. I figured since I had a moment and I'm here in Ali's studio with all her crazy artwork, I'd give you a little tour of some of the most ridiculous things she's made. Things like a 12-foot skeleton covered completely in mirrors. I guess he lives right up there above where I was sleeping. <laughs> There's also this giant foam bird toy, which was a real triumph. He isn't mounted right now, but this is the bear-deer hybrid that Ali made with us when she was up in Seattle. <laughs> she added all this flocking to finish him off, and it, it worked out so well. Speaking of flocking, here's a flocked guitar and a flocked toilet. She also flocked a piano and her entire car. And who could forget the marshmallow peep flag? Look at this thing. Here's the skeleton that Allie covered completely in gold leaf, including the head, which is real gold. Oh, and here's the molds that we made of her head. <laughs> this one's food safe. We can make a chocolate casting of Allie's head. Of course, Allie has videos for all of these ridiculous projects over on her channel. Please go check them out. There's definitely something there for you. And her positive attitude and creativity is completely unmatched. She's a real force of nature. Uh, okay, my prints are probably done. Let's go see how they turned out. Hey friends, uh, time has moved forward a little bit and we've come up with the final mechanical solution here. Uh, and it, uh, it only took like a couple of tries. He's not lying. He just yeah. cranked it out. Pun! Cranked it out! <laughs> uh, what, a, what a fun batch. Here's where we ended up with the motion with our with the crankshaft in there. It's so organic. Too. Yeah, and it's How really, cool. really smooth. Now, there was a creature that goes on here, and it's done, and it's just off camera, but you don't get to see it yet. You gotta go watch Allie's video to see how it all turned out. <laughs> I'll see you there. Yeah, go subscribe to Allie. Thanks so much for having me in the studio. Are you kidding it's me? It's always a blast to come down to LA and film with you. We had Absolutely. a ton of fun. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, special thanks to our extra credit members for all your support over on Patreon and YouTube. Uh, this is a blast. Heck yeah. This is a real, real, real blast. Definitely go see the, the final product. It is precious. All right. See you in the next build.